How's it going? I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and welcome to the Move Mastery Series, where today you're going to learn how to perfect your spin move. All right, so the spin move is becoming more and more important as the game evolves and kind of progresses. So if you don't have a spin move in your repertoire, you're definitely going to need it because it's a great way to, number one, beat your defender and create off of the dribble. So basically, the spin move can be used pretty much anywhere, right? It can be used in the open court uh, if you're trying to break a press. It can be used if you're attacking towards a basket trying to finish. So there's a bunch of variations on a spin move, right? And so I'm not necessarily going to go over all the variations here because they're going to differ just a little bit. But instead, I'm going to try to give you a few points that are going to help pretty much every spin move in every situation. So the very first thing I want to talk about is protecting the basketball, right? So anytime you're going to do a spin move, generally it's because there's a defender somewhere close to your body, which means that they have an opportunity to possibly take the basketball from you. So as I come up, let's just pretend that the camera's the defender, and let's say I'm attacking you and I'm getting ready to do a spin move. If I keep the ball out here away from my body all this time is a great opportunity for the defender to get a hand on it, slap it, tip it away, right? And because I'm spinning in a circle, it doesn't take much contact on the ball to get it out of your hands. So the very first key is you want to protect it and keep it close to your body, right? As I come through, if I'm hitting this spin move, I want to try to keep it tight and close to my body, not much space, because if I can do that, number one, it's hard for the defender to get a hand on, and number two, it's going to make me spin faster. Like if you ever twirled yourself up on a swing at a playground, right, and let yourself go, if your feet are out, you spin slower. If your feet are in, you spin faster. And a spin move is the exact same thing. So as I come through, if the ball's out here, I'm going to spin a lot slower than if I come and the ball's in here, right? So keeping the ball close to your body serves two awesome purposes. Number one, protection. Number two, it's going to make you spin faster. So the second thing that we want to think about after protecting the basketball, keeping it close to our body, is we want to pound our last dribble. So anytime I'm doing a spin move, it's probably coming off of, a, off of a dribble situation. And so I really want to pound that last dribble to launch me into the spin move, right? Because the faster I pound it, the more it's going to launch me into it, and the faster my spin's going to be. What I see a lot of young athletes do is they go to do a spin move and they kind of softly bounce the ball out in front, and then they try to spin, and they don't have that momentum to whip them around. Right? So the idea is as I come through, I want to pound the basketball, and that's going to launch me into my spin move. Right? From here, we've got options. If you're close to the basket, you can pound it, cup it, try to go up and under and finish whatever it is. If I'm in transition, I can push it out and go get the basketball, whatever I'm trying to do. Right? But the idea is, number one, keep the ball close to your body, protect and spin faster. Number two, pound the ball into the ground, and that's going to help you out a ton. All right, so the first drill we're going to do to perfect our spin move is the one dribble spin finish. So you're going to start closer to the hoop. I'm going to move just a few feet up off the block, and I'm going to start with the ball in my outside hand. So since I'm on the right side, it's going to be on my right hand. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one step through with my inside foot, and at the same time as that comes down, I'm going to pound the basketball and launch into my spin move towards the middle, right? Here I'm going to finish with my inside hand. Once I get a shot up, I'm going to get my rebound. I'm going to come back through. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side, right? Boom, now I'm spinning, spinning with my left finish with my right coming through. The idea is we want to work on that footwork, work on that pound dribble, work on keeping the ball close to the body, right? Because each time as I come through and I step, I want to really work on that, boom, last pound and pick up, and that's going to help me work on getting that momentum on the spin move. So that's drill number one. All right, so drill number two that we're going to do is the two dribble spin finish. So this is just like the one we just did, but we're going to scoot it out further. So I'm going to go from the three-point line, but if you're younger, you might want to scoot in maybe around kind of the 15-foot or the free throw line. But the idea is we're going to get a lead-up dribble to our pound dribble. So as I'm going, I'm going to spin the ball myself. I'm going to get ready to attack. I'm going to attack with my outside hand. I'm going two dribbles. The second one's going to launch me into my spin. So as I rip, I'm going one. And then the second one, pop, I'm trying to launch into that spin move, right? Again, keeping the ball close to my body, really pounding that last dribble. So the key here is that you want to push that first dribble out, right? If I try to rip through and I drop my first dribble right here by my foot, it's going to be hard to get that second one all the way by the basket to finish. So really work on instead, as you rip through, you're going to push your first dribble out, and then your second one, you're going to launch in that spin, finish with your inside hand. This is great to work on that dexterity, kind of that in-game attack, especially within your offensive sets. All right, so the next drill I got for you is continuous spins. And the idea here is we're working on multiple spin moves in a row, just getting our handle down and getting the dexterity. So you're going to start on a baseline. This is a full court drill. All you're going to do is you're going to begin with a dribble towards your right. So I'm going out, and on my second dribble about, I'm going to hit a spin move, switching hands to the opposite. I'm going to do the same thing, a couple dribbles, boom, spin move back to my right. So the idea is each time, I should be switching hands, right? I come through, pound, boom, throw it out. 
Now these are a little bit different because this is kind of like a continual moving forward spin move. So this is the type of spin move you're probably going to do more in transition when you're attacking a defender. You know, maybe a press break's coming or somebody's helping when you're at half court. You can hit them with this quick spin, throw it out in front of you, and continue to go get it. So all we're going to do is we're going to go down to the baseline, stop, reset, head back down. All right, if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and then head into the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. This is a channel for the people, by the people, and I'm on pretty much everything out for requests, so leave it down below and hopefully I can get to it. And if you're new to shop mechanics, you're definitely going to want to do two things. Number one, click that subscription button down here because we put out videos every week and they're all going to get you better. The second thing you're going to do is click the other button down below and you're going to get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This scoring workout is going to change the way you think about your training and probably increase your scoring average the very first time you use it. That's how powerful it is. So you're going to want to check that out. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching. Until next time, splash on.